Hip mobility is obviously a key component to the golf swing, but often forgotten is the hip stability and motor control that is required to swing a golf club at an elite level. Hip stability and motor control in a compromised position is something that we neglect often, and it can be a really big limiter to your golf swing. One of the key components to in initiating the swing is the turn of the pelvis. That comes from being able to control your hips from a stretched position. So while we want to focus on making sure your hips can get to those positions with mobility work, we want to complement that with some stability and motor control work around the hip so that when you get into that really good backswing, you now have the power to initiate a great swing forward. So let's talk about some drills that we can do to increase uh, hip stability and motor control. We did this shin box exercise as part of our mobility program. Now we're going to alter it a little bit to make it a stability and motor control drill. What you're going to do from the shin box position is you're going to make sure the box is closed, meaning your front foot, uh, sole of your foot is going to be pressed against your back knee. So you want to make sure that box is closed nice and tight. Then what you're going to do is keeping your core tight, ribs down, abs crunched, you're going to drive through both knees and sit up nice and tall. This is a really difficult move. So if you have an issue with this at first, I want you to take a, uh, a stick, a dowel or a golf club, something that you can push down into the floor, and you're going to put that in front of you to use as assistance like an ice pick. So you're going to push your assistive device down into the floor to help yourself sit up. Then if you're using assistance, I want you to let go of that device and come down slowly back to the floor. Take your time, three to five seconds on the way down, and you're going to repeat that. So you can ice pick your way back up with a, a dowel, a broomstick, a golf club, and then you're going to lower yourself back to the ground uh, without assistive devices at all. Now, when you get really good at this, you can add a weight, like a kettlebell or a dumbbell, at your chest goblet style, and be able to push yourself up into tall, and then sit back down nice and slow and control. This exercise, I would do eight to 12 reps per side, and I would do four to five sets of this drill. Now, what we want to do from this position is get up and start working on hip control and stability while standing. And one of the hallmark drills that we can do for this is a single leg hip hinge or a hip airplane. Now, again, like the shim box, we can use assistance like a dowel, a golf club, golf club or um, a door frame to do this exercise. Uh, and we want to start to eliminate that assistance as soon as possible. So what you're going to see here is I'm going to stand on one foot, slight bend in my knee. And then from that point, my knee is going to stay fixed. So we don't want you squatting down to the ground. I don't want you bending through your knees. All you're going to do is you're going to kick that back leg back behind you, hinge forward at the hips to a tabletop position or an airplane position, and then you're going to stand up nice and tall. Now, the big key in this drill is you want to make sure your hips don't open up to the side so that one butt cheek is higher than the other. You're going to see me emphasize this in the video where I cheat, and you're going to see how my pelvis sort of starts to slant. I want you to make sure your belt line stays totally flat as you hinge forward at the hip and then stand up tall. This is an exercise where I would prefer you to use assistance and do it right, then muscle your way through an exercise that you can't do well yet. So assistive device like your golf club uh, can be used to perform this exercise. And once you get good, you can start to reduce the, uh, the need for that assistive device. This is an excellent pre-round warm-up that can be done at the driving range. I would do 15 to 20 repetitions per side, and I would do three or four rounds before swinging the club. Now, moving from here, we're gonna do a strength and conditioning drill that's not so much about building up strength as it is about building control in an extended position around one leg. So really we're taking this single leg hip hinge and now we're adding a weight. So I want whatever you use to be heavy. If, uh, if you have access to weights at home, something that's on the heavier side, if not uh, a grocery bag filled up with as many things as you can find to increase the load works quite well. Um, a five gallon pail of water can work really well as, uh, as a weight in this movement. Um, but all we're gonna do is get into that split stance position, front foot forward, all your weight on the front foot, your back foot is a kickstand, and keeping your belt line flat or your, your low back neutral, you're gonna hinge forward at the hips to grab your weight and then stand up nice and tall. When I say tall, I mean make sure you come right up to tall like you're balancing a glass of water on your head. A lot of times you're gonna stop halfway into that cheated end of position. So make sure you get all the way to the ground, all the way back up, and you're trying to make sure you can extend your hips through the top. 
you're going to do eight to 12 reps per side of this exercise and another four or five rounds as part of this workout routine. Now, the final exercise that we have here is another developmental kinesiology movement. We did a lot of developmental kinesiology in the shoulder stability series, and now you're seeing it come up in the hip stability series again. That's because developmental kinesiology is the science behind human development, and this is how you learn to rotate your hips and stabilize your pelvis uh, when you were uh, seven to eight months old. So starting in a shin box position, you're gonna put your arms out like a T, fall to the side on one hand, and then drop down to your elbow. Now you'll be in the starting position for this exercise. Make sure at this point you pick your ribs up so that your spine lines up on a straight line from your nose to your belt. From here, you're gonna roll your hips just so slightly forward, push down through your bottom knee, and lift your bum up off the ground behind you. And then just like the shoulder exercise and just like the shin box, Coming down slow is the most important part of this exercise. So you're gonna roll forward, drive through your knee, lift your hip, and then you're gonna slowly come back down to the ground and repeat. This exercise, I would do five to eight reps per side and four to five rounds as well. Those four exercises should pro provide you a really good base of stability coverage for your hips. If you find that you've gotten excellent hip mobility from our hip, our hip mobility series, and now you want to progress to controlling that mobility and driving the ball just a little bit further.